afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art sedan this afternoon. Getting harder and harder to find these cars so uh, really excited to see one come into our possession. We'll start off at the front of the car as you can see finished in black with all the chrome surrounding that grille. Driving lights right down in the front of, uh, bottom of our front bumper and as you can see on the bonnet we've got our, our air grills just to increase airflow through the engine. We'll talk about that a little bit later. As we move around to the passenger side, few things to point out. The distinctive grey alloy wheels, uh, brand new tyres on this car as well. Um, Colour-coded exterior mirrors with our indicator incorporated in the mirror. Colour-coded door handles as well. Does have proximity keys, so a matter of just touching on a button on one of the front doors to lock and unlock the car. And as you can see, even though it's finished in black, you can hardly pick any marks on the car at all. No scratches on our alloy wheels. It's done under 40,000 k's, this car, so you'd expect it to present really well, and it does. Uh, we've got a reverse camera just uh, located in our boot lid there. Uh, Colour-coded reverse parking sensors as well, so we've got all our safety, distinctive rally art badging with our spoiler as well. Then as we move around to the uh, passenger side of the car, consistency continues, not really a scratch or a mark on the car that I can see. Having a really close look at it, um, extremely happy with its presentation. Once again, the alloy, alloy wheels are unscathed, so exterior presentation I, I'm very impressed with. Okay, so around at the front of the rally art now, we'll have a little bit of, bit of a chat about the performance. Got the lightweight bonnet there, just pop our uh, bonnet holder into position. Also got the stability bar at the back there of the motor. So powered by a little two litre turbo engine, it's going to give us plenty of performance, 177 kilowatts of power and 343 newton metres of torque, while still using a miserly 9.6 litres combined per 100 k. So certainly stack of performance uh, and you're getting the economy as well. Around at the rear of the car, and even though they're a fairly compact sort of little four-door sedan, have a look at the sort of storage space we still get in the front there. Got all of our factory car mats, the proper genuine rally art, rally art car mats, and the uh, previous owner also had a dash mat as well. Fairly rare to see those little babies in this day and age. You've also got your subwoofer just on your left-hand rear side as well, um, which we'll have a bit of a chat about the premium sound system shortly. So inside the rally art now, and once again, as I mentioned earlier, under 40,000 k's, only done 36,000 k's, so presenting really well. All of our power window and exterior mirror switches on our driver's armrest. Uh, stability control button there to manually turn it off if we wish to. And then moving to our leather wrap steering wheel, quite a bit to go through here. Auto headlights on our indicator stalk, so no need to ever have to touch that, just leave them set on automatic and away you go. Height adjustable steering wheel, set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable, push that lever into position and we're good to go. On our steering wheel itself, cruise control buttons on our right hand side, all of our audio buttons on our left and Bluetooth buttons tucked down on the bottom left of the steering wheel. As you can see, it does have the two paddles at the back of the steering wheel. It enables us to drive this vehicle in manual mode if we wish to. Um, and certainly being a performance car, yeah, you would, why not? Uh, auto wipers as well. So we'll certainly detect the rain and uh, turn themselves on automatically. Moving into our centre console section, our multi-function display screen here. I've got the navigation screen highlighted at the moment, so factory satellite navigation. As we mentioned earlier, reverse camera. What a picture, how clear is that picture? Back into park there, and then we've got our audio button on our side. As I mentioned, so it does support Bluetooth audio as well, so um, we can certainly stream music from our, our phone if we wish to. We'll just go to the stereo now. On FM, as I mentioned earlier, it does have premium sound. Obviously, we don't have any stations set at the moment. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll just get to a radio station now. There we go. And as I said, fitted with premium sound. Really good volume. 
don't know about the song of choice, but that's okay. Then we move to our twin clutch uh, automatic transmission. We can drive it, as I mentioned, just as a normal automatic, or if we wish to move it across into performance or sports mode, you move it across to the right, enables us to change through the gears um, just by our, our paddles on our steering wheel. Move it back across and into park. Also, you've got this button here, which just uh, changes it from normal mode to sport mode. And then we've got uh, all wheel drive and a button for your reverse parking sensors, cup holders behind that, and a handbrake there as well. Inside the console lid, just a good little storage area there um, with a coin tray on top as well. Now we'll have a bit of a scan around the interior, have a really good look at the quality of the seats and the condition of them as well. Um, same can be said of the door trims, so all unmarked, I can't really see a scratch anywhere on the interior. Uh, the Lance is fitted with seven airbags, so front side and curtain airbags, uh, thus giving it a five star ANCAP safety rating. So not only are you getting your performance, but you're getting your safety at the same time as well. Last thing we'll do is have a look at the service books and as you'd expect, look at that. Perfect service history, all the way from brand new. And we've even carried out an intermediate service on the vehicle when we prepared it as well. I hope this has given you a great idea of the quality of our little 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art sedan. As I said before, we don't see them that often. Two litre turbo motor giving us 177 kilowatts of power, 343 newton metres of torque, but still delivering really good fuel consumption, 9.6 litres combined per 100 k's. Five star ANCAP safety rating, perfect service books, only 36,000 k's. Why wouldn't you want to own one? Give us a call on 9907 so that we can assist further.